The animation stage of traditional animation is the one that takes the longest amount of time. It takes ages and for good reason, there's a lot to it. So I actually made a dedicated video saying basically all the steps that there is to making a traditionally animated movie, that's going to be up there. But this, stage, this video is going to focus on just the animation stage and just say everything there is to that stage. So here we go. So to start this process, a key animator draws the characters or whatever he needs to draw on translucent paper that he puts on a light box. And these, this paper attaches to the light box through the use of pegs, which are these special kind of holes, which kind of look like what you'd use with a um, ring binder or something like that. But they're specific holes just used for animation. And yeah, in case you don't know what a light box is, it's basically a table that has a hole in it and there's basically a light shining through it so that you can see the onion skin or basically the outlines of the drawings of the ones that you've got layered underneath the drawing that you've got on top. So when it actually comes to drawing these drawings, the key animator doesn't usually do them one at a time. He usually draws the picture that goes at the beginning then um, the middle and then the end. So if he's drawing somebody turning around, he draw them when they're facing that way and then he do him facing that way and then he do him facing that way. And then what they do is they do breakdowns which will basically fill in when they're, draw when they're standing this way and when they're standing this way. So it, it's kind of like the in-betweens. And timing is very important when it comes to these drawings. So there's a few documents that the animators get so that they know basically what drawings to draw and how many of them to draw and what duration they should be and things like that. And these documents are bar sheets and exposure sheets and there's also timing charts but those are actually drawn alongside the drawings. So the timing charts show the timings for a select amount of drawings. So it could be perhaps one action such as the one that I said in turning from looking left to looking right. And it's not going to be for an entire scene or anything like that. And it's usually going to go on the first um, frame of the scene. And it's basically going to say what the timings are for each of the parts of the action in that scene. So which ones are going to last for two frames, which ones are going to last for three frames and so on. And this can also be used to plan for what other in-betweens need to be drawn. It doesn't have to be just for drawings that are already there. A bar sheet is used to take words as well as actions and put them to frame numbers. So this is going to be probably for an entire scene or something like that. And yep, yeah, it will basically put the words next to what frames they are. So animators know exactly how long um, the words are going to last frame wise and how long the action should last too. And then there's the exposure sheet that kind of takes the timing chart as well as the bar sheet and puts them in one place. So the exposure sheet is going to say how long each action lasts, but it's going to say it from multiple layers, not just the one individual action. And it's also going to show, again, words and how long they're going to last, but it's going to do it for pretty much the entire thing. It's going to be a real long document. It's going to have everything there. It's basically just one place to put everything. But anyway, getting back to the key animator, once the key animator does all of the drawings that he's required to do, he passes it on to the assistant animator and he basically does a lot more in-betweens if they're needed. And he just generally tidies stuff up too because as I said the key animator did just do rough drawings. This assistant animator is usually going to work to twos so there's basically going to be 12 pictures for every 24 frames. Although if there's a lot of action they may move over to doing 24 pictures for 24 frames so one picture per frame. And then the assistant's work is reviewed and corrected if needed by the lead animator before it's passed on to the director. And then basically the director says that he's happy with it or he says that he isn't happy with it and he says what has to be redone and then that's redone. And it keeps being redone until the director's happy with it. So in high budget productions, this is actually not just going to be one group of people. There's usually going to be one group of animators per character. Or there may be one group of animators per two characters if they don't have such a big role in the film or something like that. And if there's two characters interacting in a scene, a kind of main character is picked out and that character is animated first. And then the second character is made to react to the first character's actions. But anyway, from the director, the drawings move over to the cleanup artists. And the cleanup artists basically take all of the drawings and they clean them up. So they basically take a blank piece of paper and they redraw all of the drawings. But um, with ink and in a way that is basically going to be ready for the final product. They make sure all the details preserved. 
and that it looks exactly like the work that the original animator did. And they also have their own in-betweeners who fill in any gaps that the cleanup artist may have left out. And yet, once the in-betweeners are done, if they're needed, they are then moved to the director and yeah, the director either gives an okay, which means that the drawings are, are going to pass them to the next stage, or the director says that they have to redo them, so then they go and redo them. And yeah, that's basically the entire process, that's how the whole animation process works within the whole process of making a traditionally animated film. So yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, be sure to leave your comments down below of just anything you want to say pretty much. But yeah, hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.